installation video provides a visual guidance for the installation of a barrier-free five-piece shower. Please refer to the installation manual for specific details relating to the installation of your shower. An adult must be present during the arrival of your unit to receive, inspect, and note on the bill of lading any visual damage to the carton or crate that may have occurred during transit. Do not allow the driver to leave until this is done. Failure to do so may limit or void your claim with the LTL carrier for repair or replacement. Photograph any suspicion of damage for your records and contact your sales representative immediately. Check all loose accessories to confirm you've received what you've ordered and inspect for any damage during transit. Any defects, damage, or misalignment should be photographed and reported immediately. In the event the unit cannot be adequately inspected on the spot, do say to inclement weather, we recommend signing the bill of lading with the following words, subject to further inspection. Failure to have this phrase legally releases the trucking company of all responsibility for concealed damage as they close the bill permanently leaving you with no recourse. Now is the time to dry assemble your modular shower prior to moving into the bathroom space. This procedure can be performed on any clean, dry and open space. This is an important step for ensuring that you have received the correct panels, you've received the correct drain location, the panels and pan are free from damage and defect, and the panels align properly when assembled prior to installing in the framing pocket. Take a picture of the unit now. The purpose and benefit will be covered in a later step. And note, it is a wise choice to delay demolition of the existing bathtub area until you're confident that your new unit is the correct size, hand, and condition. You will not want your customer to be without a working bathroom while waiting for a replacement. Remember, slow is fast. The following is a list of the required tools. The following is a list of the materials needed. Check the framing pocket to ensure it is sized properly with the dimensions provided on the framing diagrams page in your installation instructions. Next, check the pocket for square, plumb, and level and make the necessary adjustments. Note, it is more common than not that adjustments will need to be made. Start by hanging a plumb bob from the framing beginning at the back wall. This is critical to your installation. In this demonstration, the wall was not plumb. A solution is to either shim the pan away from the wall or notch the stud. Now, this is critical to a proper installation of the back wall panels. Slight variances will affect plumb walls and uneven grout lines. Inspect the subfloor for level and structural integrity. A solid, non-flexing subfloor is required. Strengthen and replace any weak or damaged subfloor materials. Ensure pocket is clean from all debris. Even a small pebble can affect the draft to drain. Dry fit your pan to ensure it fits in the frame properly. Level pan in both directions, ensuring the bubble is perfectly centered. Like the foundation to a home, this is vital to the walls installing properly, resulting in consistent grout lines. Temporarily fasten to wall with one screw, shimming if necessary. Draw a line on the subfloor indicating the front point of the threshold and on the stud above the flange. Remove the pan. Now it is time to install the drain body. Remove the inside neoprene gasket and compression ring from the drain and set aside for a later step. Install the 2 inch no caulk shower drain body on the pan with plumber's putty. Tighten the nut until snug and excess putty squeezes out around the flange. Remove excess. Prepare drain to meet local plumbing codes. 
The details for the drain core area can be found in the instructions on the framing diagrams page. A 10 inch by 10 inch opening around the drain is required to receive the shower pan and prevent the drain area from being pushed up out of its engineered position. Failure to do so will cause puddling in your shower. Stub out and extend the drain pipe two to four inches above the floor. This will be trimmed at a later step. The pan is ready to be adhered to the subfloor. Use three tubes of 100% clear silicone adhesive in a square pattern as shown. The adhesive should be applied at the height that ensures contact with the pan as it's set in place, which means each bead of silicone should be about three quarters of an inch or greater. Place the pan in pocket positioning to previously marked lines. Secure the pan to all available studs shimming where necessary, countersinking number eight stainless steel screws. This allows the screw head to be flush with the finished flange so as to not interfere with the finished wall installation. Check for level and draft to drain one final time. Now this will be the last opportunity to ensure a perfectly level pan that has draft to drain before installing the walls. Note, if floors are out of level more than 3 16 of an inch, you will need to fill the void using a rapid modified thinset that will ensure your base has solid non-flexing support. While the adhesive cures, the pan needs to be secured to the floor using one of the following two methods. Bracing is the preferred method as it is demonstrated over time to provide the best results. Brace the unit as close to the drain as possible as shown. A properly braced threshold will result in flush contact to the subfloor along the entire threshold. Leave braces intact for four hours. After four hours, remove the braces and check draft to drain one final time. And when bracing is not possible, an alternative method is to weigh down the pan with five gallon buckets filled with water as shown. Again, after four hours, remove the weights and check draft to drain one final time. Cut the drain pipe even with the top of the rubber gasket using an inside pipe cutting tool. Using plumber's grease, lubricate the inside of the rubber gasket and slide over the drain pipe with beveled edge facing up. Push down until it sets itself. Then, screw compression ring into place until tight. Then snap the grid drain into place. Place protection on the floor to prevent scratches and dings to the finish while completing the assembly process. The protection can be cut from the cardboard packaging as the example shown here. Your shower features a pin and slot system that enables you to install all panels from the front finished side without requiring rear access. Caulk back wall pan ledge encircling all pins. Set the lower back panel into place. Check for level. Secure to studs with screws, shimming or notching where necessary. Repeat the process for upper back panel. Caulk pan ledge and vertical back wall seam of the panel opposite the valve wall. Set panel on ledge and slide backward into place. Now this may require force using a wood block and hammer as shown. Check for level. Before screwing flange to studs, inspect the gap seams in the corners and on the base. The gaps should match the picture taken in the dry fit procedure. If there is a larger gap, this means the base is not level or the back wall is not square and plumb. Now is the time to correct. Once corrected, Secure wall to studs with screws shimming where necessary to ensure wall surfaces are flush. Using very soapy water, wipe away any excess adhesive that may have squeezed out. Refer to the valve manufacturer's instructions for conventional sweat installations. For this demonstration, we'll be installing a valve with PEX connections. First, find the desired location of your valve and apply protective masking tape over the area to be cut. Each wall panel has steel rod supports around the perimeter. Be sure to check that where you are about to drill does not interfere with one of these rods. Mark the center of your valve and drill a hole in a diameter listed in your valve instructions, then drill a one inch hole for the supply outlet. Mount the valve directly to the panel by connecting the front trim plate to the valve body using the mounting screw provided by the valve manufacturer. Next, 
mount the supply outlet to the shark bite eared elbow. The framing cove has been prepared to receive PEX pipe in a looped pattern to prevent kinking and allow ease of connection from the valve to the water supplies. Connect the hot and cold water PEX supply lines using PEX or shark bite fittings. Notice the installers are using 90 degree fittings which work best in this application. And while the wall is resting on the floor and fully connected, now is the time to turn the water back on and test for leaks. Caulk all seams. Set the panel on ledge and slide backward into place. Now this may require force using a wood block and hammer as shown. Check for level and secure to studs using shims where necessary. Your shower is fully reinforced and ready to receive surface mount accessories now or anytime in the future. It is highly recommended that the client be involved in identifying the ideal placement of accessories according to their needs. Always mark, drill, and caulk in a circular pattern around pilot holes for all accessories. The unit is designed to allow a 1 8 inch gap at the seams. Caulk all seams as well as the front edge of the threshold. And do not use your shower until caulk is cured. See caulk instructions for cure time. A premium caulk is recommended. For fast two-day installations, a 3-inch white flange trim molding kit is an available option that transitions the drywall to the shower covering the gap. During the removal of your existing tub or shower, it's recommended that you cut the wall board away approximately 1 inch beyond the perimeter or outside edge of the nailing flange of your shower unit. This step will minimize the amount of drywall patching required. A collapsible water retainer and weighted shower curtain are recommended and available for purchase. When installed properly and paired together, they provide an effective and safe solution for keeping water in your barrier-free shower during use. Ask your sales representative for all water splash and accessory options and detailed installation instructions. Congratulations! You've successfully installed your barrier-free shower, providing years of safety and independence.